Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Tonight I'm taking a look at one of my local breweries and a local beer. This is from Braxton. It is part of their garage series. It is their garage beer. It is their premium lager. We're hitting the warmer months, so why not start enjoying some lagers, which actually have a nice soothing feel. Not just um, all other parts of the year, but really this time of year, as things heat up, you know, with that nice crisp type feel. Haven't done this one from Braxton, so looking forward to see what it has to offer. This one comes in 4% ABV, so a nice sessionable beer. And it does have a date on there as well. So good job there, Braxton. The date on the can, so you know how fresh the beer actually is. And they actually put on the can date and the can time even. So it says here, at the intersection of hard work and innovation, you'll find a garage full of ideas, a few cold ones to inspire what's next. They just give you a quick look there at the can as well. And there's their logo. Let's go and get this baby open, but before I do, do I have Braxton glassware? You bet your ass I do. Now I'm not gonna use this, but I thought I'd share some of this with you as I'm showing more of the glass collection. This is from Braxton that was actually done in conjunction with Graders who they actually team up with with each year for like ice cream type beers, so dessert type beers. This past year it was the uh, raspberry chocolate chip, which they've done for a couple years. They've done a cookie dough one before. So neat little thing where you have like pretty much the old uh, milkshake type glass or whatever that you can use for your beer. And then this is another one from Braxton. And this is the one they teamed up with Flip Daddy's, who is a craft burger, craft beer place, uh, really a chain that we have through the area. And they teamed up for their IPA glassware. So there you go, a couple glasses from Braxton as well. I'm just gonna use a regular standard pint. Sooner or later, I may use those other glasses, but uh, right now, like a lot of Star Wars fans, they're more just for display. Let's go ahead and get this baby into the glass. And we get a nice, looks to be a golden straw color of the beer nice good size head that comes out of it that'll release some of the uh, proteins and the uh, carbonation a little bit so we're not too bloated i'll say we like you're here with me or whatever so that i'm not too bloated there's a look at the beer you got nice carbonation bubbles streaming up to the head which is pretty much right on white head standard with a lot of your lager type beers Golden straw color, good clarity. You can see right through to the other side. It's got the standard aroma you usually get. Kind of that sweet sweetness from the malt bill. Kind of, I was considered kind of like a yeasty type aroma as well. Nice freshness to a nice clean cleanliness to it. But you're picking up kind of the things you'd expect to get. A little bit of a breadiness in there as well, as far as the taste. Definitely goes down rather easily. Nice pop in a flavor. I get almost like a popcorn type feel in the taste. You pick up the malts. You pick up the uh, the yeast type feel. Ooh, you get a nice duration of the flavor actually sticking around. So it's not going away as quickly as some of the other ones. I can really feel it like to the roof of the mouth. Went, excuse me, went down the back end with no issue. Very nice carbonation, not overly carbonated. Really at a nice level. Not getting much of a lacing there, but the head is still hanging in as you can see. And on a hot day, this would be a nice, crisp, refreshing one to have. Lawnmower type beer, this one actually would be as well. Get a little bit of that flavor in the cheeks area. Very light in body. Highly sessionable, again, 4% ABV. You can knock a few of these out and still be in good shape. But pretty much what you would expect to get from this type of beer, this type of lager style, and uh, pretty much pleased with it. So solid, hits on everything you intended to hit on. For me, I'm gonna give this one a uh, 3.75 out of five. The Braxton Garage Beer Lager. If you've had this one, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for checking out another video, everybody. I look forward to catching you guys next time. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers.
Joe Asbeta, come!